No question that for the championship at least, the moment of Texas was really about the battle between Frederick Osbo and Peter Vincek. Um, big crash going into the last section of the course where Vincek just got a little bit too aggressive, put Frederick into the wall. And it wasn't just the crash that was problematic for Osbo, it was the damage that came from the crash and the fact that the vehicle was so hard to repair to be able to get back out in competition. Now it's unfortunate that Peter is James's teammate um, and obviously there's no malintent on Peter's part, but just Peter played a role in kind of helping James possibly get out ahead of Osbo leaving Texas. Fortunately for the Papadakis team, they were able to get the car back out uh, even though it had a completely destroyed rear subframe. However, it was not 100%, maybe not even 75%, and that led to Frederick Osbo losing against Chelsea Denofa, who also did him a favor, by the way, by beating James in the finals. So you could say things kind of even out there, but no question that was the moment of Texas. Uh, between me and Freddie, I, after I was leading first, uh, I heard to the radio that uh, he was chasing pretty nice, but nothing unbeatable. So if, if I will try to chase him hard, it should be, it should be good. So I tried to do it. And uh, it occurs that uh, through the first half of the run, it was really good. I was really uh, on it and I was so, like pumped up. But uh, it occurs after the last transition that actually I should release some pressure <laughs> in that moment because uh, I didn't break enough. Uh, before the last uh, outside zone and uh, I jump on him actually with my rear tires uh, because of that the outcome was that he was pushed into the wall he pushed my car back also so it was a quite a quite a crash but uh, as we can see both cars are in a pretty good conditions right now so uh, let's hope that both of us uh, simply forget about it and just move forward from now and uh, and that the cars will be in a good shape for this round because this round does not forgive anything. I know how Peter felt, maybe not in his own mind, but I know that he felt really, you know, upset about it and didn't want to, you know, take Frederick out of the event. But you got to respect Peter for, you know, when you're battling one of the best drivers out there, you need to give it everything. And, and that's what he did. And if he pulled that off, he probably would have beat him. So, you know, that's, it, it's, uh, like risk or reward, you know, situation. So, you know, no risk and no biscuit, yeah. yeah. So, yeah, all or nothing. And unfortunately, it didn't work out for him, and uh, they both went out. But, you know, it was really tough to see Asbo go out like that, but at the same time, he still managed to get into the top four, run with Chelsea in the top four, and, uh, yeah, get some extra points. So, it uh, still wasn't, I guess, the worst finish. The whole subframe is broken. We can't fix it. We don't have another one. I mean, the entire rear bottom of the car is literally shifted over and like broken. With uh, Viatek being deemed at fault for the crash, we were given ample time to fix the car, but we still didn't have more than probably 20 minutes. So we started off by assessing what was broken. We looked at the rear subframe, everything was bent, the diff was about to fall out of the car, the, the tires were pointing in every single direction, all the bodywork was messed up. But the bodywork we didn't really care about, we only cared about getting the wheel somewhat in the right direction and making sure the diff didn't actually fall out. And then we just sent it against Chelsea. The funny thing is, driving a car that's bent that badly out of shape isn't really that big of a deal. It just makes the car loose. Uh, it's still easy to drive, it's still easy to place. The one big issue I had though, was that one of the, the brake rotors was broken. So pulling the e-brake would only lock up one wheel and I would f feel like a really weird shake in the car every time I used the e-brake. That wasn't exactly confidence inspiring. I held back more than I probably should have against Chelsea. He ended up winning that battle and eventually winning the event.